everyone. In this activity, we are going to make one game and the name of the game is Apple Panda Game. So this game basically includes Panda and Apple as the main character. Game revolves around a collection of Apple present on the screen. Users can move uh, the Panda with the help of arrow keys such as up, down, left and right which is there on the keyboard. As per the collection of the apples, the score, ga uh, the score gets increased. Score variable is used uh, to display the total score collection by the user. So let's just start writing the program. As you all can see, Panda is already there on my screen. I need to add one more character, uh, which is nothing but the apple. Again, it's absolutely your choice. If you want to add any other characters or any other uh, fruits or food item, you are allowed to do that. So I have my apple and I have my panda with me. Okay. Now I will be adding a very nice background to my project. Uh, let me just go to the nature and I will add, I'll add this mountain one. Okay. So now I have my two main characters of the program, which is apple and panda and then I have a very nice background. So first and foremost, I will be writing a program for Panda. So as I've already told you, I need to move my Panda with the help of four arrow keys. So I'll go to event, I'll take when space key press. From there, I will be choosing right arrow key press. Then I need to move my Panda and Point in direction 90. Okay, see, I'm pressing the right arrow key and my panda is moving to the right direction. Now, similarly, I need to write down the program for left arrow key. So, when space key press, left arrow key, again, I will be taking move 10 step and point in direction 90. Now, here, now this point in direction is nothing but, see the direction over here. Now, the arrow is looking towards the right hand side so that's why for the right arrow I have taken 90. Now I need to move the panda to the left direction so I will be moving this arrow towards which direction yes left direction and now just check the value so it has to be minus 90 see but my panda is upside down you just see the value I'll be putting the value over here minus 90 okay let me just put the direction also 90. Okay. Now look here. Whenever I will press the left arrow key, my panda is moving but upside down. See, right direction and left direction. Now, if you want to move the panda properly to the left side also, we have one command. Set rotation style left to right. So after move 10 steps, sorry, after when left arrow key press, I will be adding this command. Set rotation style left to right. So it will help your panda to rotate properly. See now I am pressing the left arrow key and now my panda is moving nicely to the left direction and to the right direction as well. See I, I have done with the right arrow and left arrow. Now I will be writing the code for up and down arrow. So again when space key press because I need to move my panda in all four directions. Correct? I will simply copy Okay, for left, let me just change, but the values you need to check. Point in direction, now I need to move up. So, I just simply move the cursor or the arrow to the upper side. So, the value has to be 0 for up and for, let me just check, down. For down, again you have to move the arrow to the down side. So, the value will become 180. Now, please everyone look here on the screen. I will be moving the panda left, right, up and down. Okay. I hope you are clear with it. Just make sure you have to put the proper values for right plus 90, left minus 90, up 0 and down 180. So, this will be the values uh, to move your panda in all four directions. Now I will be writing a 
nice small program for the apple. So basically what my apple will do whenever my panda will touch to the apple or apple will touch to the panda, my uh, apple has to go to the random position. Okay, and I, whenever it will touch, I need to uh, add the score variable which is used to store the values, okay, which is used to store the score. So I'll go to the variable. I'll make one variable, give a name score. Okay, see it appears over here. So what it will do, whenever it will touch to the, uh, whenever my panda will touch to the apple, the score will increase uh, by the given number. So whenever I will click on to the green flag, first and foremost, I will be setting the score to zero. Okay, then I'll go to control. So if uh, the apple is touching to the panda or panda is touching to the apple is one and the same thing. So uh, change the score by some number and the apple has to go to the random position. So if touching you will find it out in the sensing block touching once you will click on to the drop down button you have to choose panda because we are writing the code for apple. That's why this apple spread is invisible. You can only select panda. Then go to random position and change the score by 1. Okay, instead of 1, if you want to add 10, you can do that. Now, let's just run the program. But the program will not work. See. Because my program will run only once. I haven't used any loop. So, I'll go to control and I'll use forever loop. So, what is the use of this forever loop? Whichever command we will put inside the forever loop, it will run continuously until and unless we are not stopping it, right? So, let me just click on to the green flag. See, 10, 20. Just check the score over here. Okay. So, I hope you understood the program, the game. You can make your own game. Thank you so much.